Welcome everyone to the fifth day of our complete AR fundamental course. Today, I'll show you how to make a marker based AR experience with Vumark in Unity. In the last tutorial, we created the Vumark with Adobe Illustrator. I have created some other Vumark for this tutorial. I hope you can also make similar kind of Vumark by now if you have uh, seen the last tutorial. I'll provide the .ai file for the Vumark in case you are struggling. We'll basically make a AR experience with Avenger superheroes. I'll put some marker in my tabletop and we'll show the Avenger superheroes are animating there. Uh, the model I'm using are free for personal use. They're not for commercial use. So don't use them for any kind of commercial purposes. I'll give the link on the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, as usual, you have to configure Vuforia for Unity. Go to File, Build Setting, Layer Setting and turn this option on. Then go to the Developer Panel, copy your license key, paste it here in Unity. After that, go to the Target Manager and download the Target Database. If you don't know how to make the database, please see our previous tutorials. When you download and import the asset in Unity, go to the configuration again and turn on the database and activate it. After that, create a new AR camera and remove the main camera. Create a new Vumark object and in the database, Select your own database. Drag and drop the model you're gonna use or the object you're gonna show and make this as a child of Vumark. That's it. Now this will track any Vumark that you generate from your Vumark template and show this character. But maybe we need to show a particular model for a particular marker, right? For that, we need to write a simple script. Let's create a new C Sharp script. Now, for this Vumark tracking or any other image target tracking, we'll need this particular interface. Start typing I. Sorry, I forgot to import the Vuforia namespace. Now you'll find that particular interface. And right click on it, you'll see that there is an error. Right click it and implement this interface. I'm gonna copy this and paste it after the update. It will look better. Okay. Now, this method will be called by the event system when there is any changes on the trackable states. That means if a new trackable is found, lost or detected, this method is called. So we are going to check if the new status is either detected or tracked. So if the tracker has successfully tracked something or detected something, we'll go to on tracker found method and if it had it has lost something, we're gonna use this method. So one tracking found and else if the previous status is tracked and the new status is lost then we'll call the on tracker lost function
as the interface has been implemented the next thing we will do we will work on the logic so first of all we will need to declare a variable for the trackable behavior and next we need to instantiate this one so we should just search for it in this particular game object and if the behavior is found that means it's not equal to null we will let this event system know that this is the uh, script responsible for the trackable event handler because this script has this um, interface right okay now uh, finally we have to manage the vmark so we'll have to create the vmark manager so so the avenger vmark we have to instantiate it go to tracker manager the, the tracker manager is responsible for any kind of manager not only for vmark manager it can be used for the image manager uh, image target manager 3d man target manager and so on and so forth so for us we're gonna use the vmark manager right you can see that there is a there is other um, manager too like this active trackable behaviors travel bulky bulky next we need to instantiate this vmark manager so from this tracker manager you can find this state manager and uh, the next we need to instantiate this vmark manager so from the tracker manager call this vmark manager method done so now we have instantiated all the variable we'll need for this script now go to the on tracker found so if i now go to the editor there is this boomer and i have added some more model under this object so each of this model will be shown uh, with respect to some vmark right or some marker so for this first model i'm gonna use one number one vmark if you remember from the tutorial where we made the vmark you'll remember that there was the instant instance id for each of the vmark right so that is the main id of that particular vmark so the number one id will represent this captain america number two will represent hulk number three will iron man number four spider-man right so let's now code it i'm gonna search for all the active trackable behavior in my scene so i'm gonna use this for each loop for that and here i'll say that avenger woomer dot get active behaviors and i'll get the id of this particular marker i want so item dot woomer target dot instance id dot numeric value so this is actually a u long value u long type of value you'll see that this is u long right so what we need okay i'm gonna make it integer and i'm gonna use the system 
dot convert dot two integer thirty two and pass this variable here done and finally I'm gonna search this index in my uh, child component of my game object and make the game object on that's it I'm gonna copy all the script from here and paste it here and rather than making it true making the game object visible I'm gonna make it invisible so I'm gonna make the set active false finally we should delete this default trackable event handler and assign our own script on this particular game object that's it now I'm gonna build my project I'm gonna show you the demo Thank you guys for watching the video, I will discuss how to deal with multiple image targets in the next class. If you have any question feel free to ask in the comment box and I will see you in the next class.